an engine who worked at the quarry before Mavis arrived, but we don't know what happened to it. Well, I was wondering if 81 was the engine who worked at the quarry when it first opened. Billy told us about it back in September, and Thomas and I doubted if it was real, but he played a joke on us, and, well, I'm not sure if it was real or not. Well, from what I heard, he was one of the engines who worked here when it first opened in 1924, but after he was scrapped after his fall, another engine took his place. I was still wondering about the engine who worked at the quarry before Mavis arrived. I actually remember seeing her when she was first bought. What was her name? Her name was Tasha. She was a red saddle tank engine who was built by St. Rollox Works in 1883 for Donovan Douglas's old railway, the Caledonia. She mostly sent the trucks to the other engines. In 1924, following Eddie Mons' fall, the Farkov Corps needed another engine to replace him after he was scrapped. She was brought to the quarry of the Carter after Carter Stone, who had become the wife of Lady's original owner, Bernard Stone. See what I mean, Percy? In 1945, she was hanging up in the stone of the harbour. But on the way, she broke down and she couldn't continue the journey. So she was taken off the train another engine to go. The quarry didn't have any money to repair her, so the quarry manager had no choice but to send her to scrap her. I wonder if Tasha could still be And now the next thing story. Thanks for the lift, Bulgy. You're welcome, sir. Maybe he'll consider bringing more buses like me to the island to replace you, what? Not this anti-rail stuff again. That's enough, Bulgy. Anyways, I want you to work at the Fafcock Quarry while Mavis is away on the Norby branch line. Right, sir. I'm glad you're here to help me. Are those my trucks? Only some of them. There's a lot more in the sidings. The more the merrier. Luke worked very hard for the rest of the day. The dustier he became, the harder he worked. That night, Toby had to take a train of stone trucks down to the harbour, and Luke was getting ready to leave when his father went to the the mountain. But, he had not put his brakes on properly. What's going on? Why am I moving? Uh, driver? Uh, hello? 
Who are you? I'm Tasha. I used to work at this quarry years ago. Oh wait, you're the one Thomas told me about. How did you get in this shed anyways? Last time I heard you were taken to Kronk's scrapyard where Edward saved Trevor. Well, after the manager told me that I was to be scrapped, since they had no money to repair me, my crew were not very happy about it. So, they hid me in the shed where I have been here ever since. Maybe I'll ask my driver to tell the Fat Controller to restore you at Croven's Gate. I'm sure he will. The next day, while Luke was being pulled out of the shed, he told the Fat Controller about her. So, does that mean she wasn't scrapped after all? Percy did say he wondered if she still could be around. I'll go and check. You must be Tasha, I believe. My parents told me all about you when I was a kid. was pulled out, she was put on a flatbed and gently took her to Groven's gate to be mended. <laughs> Don't worry my friend, we'll have you back to working order in no time. Sorry, boss. While Tasha was being repaired, she saw a narrow gauge tender engine parked next to her. Who are you? I'm Duke, and you must be Tasha. I am. I used to work at the Fourth Bar Quarry on Thompson's Branch Line many years ago, but I was later locked up in a shed to avoid being scrapped, and I was there for over 70 years. I was locked up in the shed as well after my old growing right closed down in 1947. Well, at least until I was found by the fat clergyman and the thin clergyman in 1969, and they put me in a book called Duke the Lost Engine. Duke and Tasha got on well. My Tasha was made that she was sorry to leave him, but she was glad that she was going to work at the quarry again.